Andrew Araldi. I'm a local arborist in the greater Boston area. Called here today to Newton Upper Falls, Hemlock Gorge with Echo Bridge in the background. We're enjoying these last days of our New England fall and we're going to chat about some trees. What you have here towering over us are Canadian hemlocks. Suga canadensis is the Latin name for that. It's a native tree to the area 
grows up in Canada, southern parts of Canada, and uh, they're worth taking a look at because they're actually receding north and west of here. Um, as temperatures, summer temperatures rise, some pests have come in and uh, have started depleting the hemlock population here in Greater Boston. white, woolly, sort of cottony swab type material on the foliage of the hemlock. This is called the hemlock woolly adelgid. It's a, a, a pest of the hemlock that actually feeds through the fall and spring, goes dormant during the, the cold winters and the, the heat of the summer, and if it goes untreated, it can uh, defoliate an entire hemlock and uh, uh, it, the hemlock would then have to be removed. here in Hemlock Gorge, we see the Hemlock Armored Scale. This is a scale pest that pierces the, the hemlock foliage and sucks the juices out from it to, to sustain itself. This is a newly introduced pest to the greater Boston area, just as detrimental to the hemlocks as the Hemlock Woolly Adelgid. Here's another native evergreen tree to New England. It's the white pine. Uh, it differs from the Canadian hemlock in that white pines really need to be in full sun to grow. A common misconception is that evergreen trees don't drop any of their needles in the fall. Whereas our deciduous trees, our maples, our oaks, our beeches, our chestnuts, will drop all of their leaves. Evergreen trees also drop some of their needles. This is uh, a, a natural act where the tree is uh, mulching itself and these needles are going to break down with the natural soil microbes and, uh, and add nutrients to the soil. Mm -hmm. 